The Man in Black, Macabre Stories from Fear on 4. That's BBC Radio 4, hence the BBC logo in the corner. Um, the Man in Black was a deep-voiced character who introduced short uh, half-hour radio dramas, which were essentially horror stories. Quite unusual for the BBC to do horror stories in any format. Um, there were always objections to that whole thing going right back to the origins of the corporation because it's public service broadcasting and horror is supposedly not a public service, unlike, say, comedy, which always strikes me as a bit strange. But anyway, if you look at the list of authors on the back, you can see some very familiar names, some not so familiar, Graham Fife, uh, Bert Cools, but also you notice Robert Westall there. I'll just take a look inside the contents list. Uh, so these have been adapted for radio down the years. The Beast with Five Fingers, you know, some very familiar names there. The Face by E.F. Benson. The Monkey's Paw. Uh, the Judge's House, Bram Stoker there. But also stories by excellent writers like uh, Stephen Gallagher, much underrated Stephen Gallagher. If I turn the page, um, St. Austin Friars by Robert Westall. Uh, and Survival by John Wyndham, Day of the Triffids Guy. Uh, dramatised for Radio 4 by Pat Hooker. Um, survival is a tale of um, space cannibalism, if memory serves. I just thought I'd completely spoil that one for you by telling you the, the twist. Um, yeah. So, The Man in Black was originally, uh, I think I'm right in saying, Valentine Dial, then a guy called Edward de Souza, and then Mark Gatiss, or Mark Gattis, of the League of Gentlemen, uh, took over the role in the uh, early part of this century and i think he's still doing it or maybe he gave up when they started doing inside number nine i'm not sure but anyway it's another one of my many tatty paperbacks um, but again a nice book to dip into the mixture of old and new stories the familiar and the unfamiliar the man in black